Mark 1.16. Kai paragon para tain thalasan tes galalayas. Aden Simona kai andrean tan adelphan Simonas amphibalantas in te thalase esan gar halies. All right, let's translate. And um, as he was going along beside the sea, uh, here we have uh, a compound verb parago, which means to go along. It's uh, actually a compound uh, in this form. It's a participle. It's a present active participle, nominative masculine singular, and it's used temporally, right? It's it's an adverbial participle as he was going along describing Jesus here. And it's it's common in Greek to repeat, in Koine Greek, to repeat that prepositional prefix on the compound verb. Uh, seems redundant to us, going along, along, but going along beside the Sea of Galilee, Aden, he saw, right? That's the second aorist of Hara'o. Um, second aorist, active indicative, third singular. He saw Simon and Andrew. And then we have a re- restatement appositionally of who Andrew is. The brother of Simon, right? That's just appositionally restating who Andrew is. Amphibalantas, that's to throw on both sides, casting, casting a net in the sea. Four, that's our explanatory. Gar, it comes second. It's post-positive, comes second in the little clause there. Four, they were fishermen. Let's just say a word or two about amphibalantas. It's from the, the verb amphibalo, which uh, is a hopox. Uh, a hopox is short for hopox legomenon, meaning it occurs one time in the New Testament here. And the preposition amphi uh, is dropping out of usage in the Koine period. This prepositional prefix here, amphi, is dropping out of use in Koine, more widely used in classical, uh, literally on both sides. We don't want to overinterpret this, but it does seem to picture the disciples in a boat throwing a cast net off both sides, and then someone likely jumping in, swimming down, gathering it in together. Mendel Noon, in his little book on fishing, last name Noon, talks about the different ways of fishing in first century Galilee, and one of them would have been to have a boat with one or more fishermen who then would be throwing circular cast nets in off around both sides of the boat and then someone jumping in and uh, the weights carrying the cast net to the bottom and then gathering it and uh, swimming in, gathering it, and then jumping back in the boat.